the Indiana bat is a federally endangered species. Currently there are somewhere around 400,000 animals left. In the 1960s there were over 880,000, so we've lost half the population. The Indiana bat, as we know, it, it uses caves or mines during the winter months for hibernation. But then during the summer months, uh, they leave those caves or mines and they head out into the forest. When I started, there were lots of holes in the natural history of the Indiana bat that we just frankly did not know. We didn't know much about where they forage. We didn't know a whole lot about where do they roost uh, in the summertime. We don't know much about what do they eat. Those kinds of simple questions, which you'd be surprised. Got another one. Okay. Uh, you know, everybody thinks we know a lot about all the wildlife, and, and there's quite a few animals, especially the bats, that we know very little about. And it's very hard to manage a forest and to try to save this endangered species when you don't even know what it eats. And that's one of the things that's really difficult. You've got a, a nocturnal animal that flies exceptionally fast and covers large areas. They're very hard to monitor. They're very hard to, to try to sense this and get an idea of how many animals are we looking at. And this is a male. Uh -huh. Juvenile. So uh, even just figuring out how many Indiana bats there are here is very difficult. And that's one of the, the aspects of this project here at Camp Atterbury that we've been working on is trying to figure out a way to, to estimate population. We're experimenting with a relatively new technology called pit tags. It's a little tiny uh, passive integrated transponder is what pit tag stands for that you inject under the skin and then when you pass a reader over it, it works kind of like a barcode at a grocery store. When you pass the reader over it, it will activate that little chip which transmits a, a unique signal and you get a number back. And you can say, okay, this is bat number and you know, you've got a big long 10 digit right, number. Let's read this one. Okay, what do you got? 26572. That's what I got here too, so let's put the tag on the paper. This one right here, right? So there's, there's potential for maybe finding these guys in the hibernacula and starting to figure out where their summer grounds are versus the winter grounds. There's potential for finding them during migration. There's, there's lots of potential for this kind of a marking technique. And then hopefully once we've done that and accomplished that, we can really start to figure out, you know, what practices as land managers are helping and hurting these animals. Does it matter if we timber harvest? Uh, you know, or is that really bad for the animals? And, and at this point, we're just kind of making guesses. We really don't know. And it, it'd be really good to try to really, uh, you know, pin that down and say, yes, this is good for them and no, this is bad for them.